I'm Melody Thomas from Music 101 and we're here at Victoria University of Wellington for a very special musical performance. What you're about to see is performed entirely by robots but with some human input. Uh, it's very dangerous so please stay out of the danger area. Let's go check it out. This is a, uh, something called a Tesla coil. It's a, a resonant transformer, so it's similar to the kind of high transformer that you might find um, by the side of the road, but it uses a different operating principle uh, to produce a higher voltage. In other words, its job is to take a low voltage and turn it into a high one. Hi, I'm Karen. Hi, I'm Elliot. That was a lot better than I was expecting, actually. Yeah, um, I mean, I've heard some Tesla music before, but never in person, and... Yeah, pleasantly surprised. Yeah, this is this is all new, and it's actually something that I put together just in the last few days. I'd put something else completely together, and then got really inspired when I heard how this thing can do pitch bend sounds, and right. and then I and then I put this together pretty recently. So yeah, it yeah, was couple, it was yeah. a really interesting oh, composition. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and it's it's a little bit of a grab bag of different types of sounds, and I really wanted to explore the different sound worlds that you could enter with the, with the Tesla coil in a way. the process of building the song, was it all done in front of a computer for you? Yeah, so the way it kind of worked is, well I started off by building a sort of a software synthesizer that sounds a little bit like the Tesla coil. Of course you did. And, <laughs> yeah, and just, just so I could have something to work off of while I was going because otherwise, you know, the coils are, are hard to set up. I found yeah. myself seeking almost seeking human elements in the performances mm. and yours actually drew me in because there was a, a moment in the composition where there was kind of a call and response going oh, on yeah, between sure. yeah. and I really enjoyed that because it gave them character and mm. I mean it's yeah, and, and I think, again, this is, that was something I wanted to highlight this time, is the fact, like, in the past, I've, when I've worked with these, it's one coil sitting in the mm. room, and this time we had three in the space, and I was just like, wow, we could, we could really start getting, getting a bit of a dialogue going between these different instruments. <laughs> it was a dialogue. You've got the two little guys, and then the, then the one big guy who's exactly. there. And yeah, yeah, so it's, it, it was cool. I'm glad that kind of worked. Yeah, so, you yeah, pulled it yeah, off. Yeah, well, sure. The lightning aspect to it, the arc, how does that relate, in what way does that relate to the, to the notes? Is it... Ah. So there's a, um, a pretty direct correlation between um, the strength of the arc, how, how big it is and how long it is, uh, for the amount of power that we're putting in. And so the, um, the, the operating principle of the software is to decide exactly how much power to put in when. Right. The more power you put in, um, the bigger the arc. Um, and you, know, you notice that throughout the performance it actually changed color. Um, that says it got hot enough, it was actually starting to evaporate some of the metal mm. that it was striking. Okay, exciting. That can be. <laughs> <laughs> I think they've made some technological advancements here. What they have is they've got enveloping going on and yeah. so there's attack and release and I think it sounds maybe a little more like a synthesizer mm. would sound. Yeah. You're impressed um. by my knowledge, I know. <laughs> I only half know what I'm saying though. That's okay, <laughs> you, you, use of buzzwords is very useful. <laughs> well you certainly know more than I'll be saying. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> 